be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making bases back again with another little video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today, what we're going to be covering is the quickest way to make hi-hat rolls using um, the step sequencer. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into that. Basically, I had this dope beat right here um, that I'm cooking up. Let's just kind of check it out and then I'm going to show you how to do the hi-hat rolls. All right, bet. So say if you wanted to add a hi-hat roll in the mix on that, what you're going to do is obviously you want to create a new track um, and bring up your hi-hat roll. So I have it um, already created, but basically what I did is I created the uh, quick sampler track. All right. And then I loaded some um, drum sounds in here <clears throat> and I picked from one of my hi-hat sounds. You can also go onto your computer anywhere and drag and drop sounds. So say if you have a melody pack, not a melody pack, but a drum kit pack, you know what I'm saying? You can drag and drop it in there um, as so. But anyway, I already have that picked, pulled up. Um, if I go right here, I have my hi-hat sound. So the quick way to do hi-hat rolls is in the um, step sequencer is push the letter P, then click on step sequencer. And then you want to go up to from 16 steps to 60, uh, 32 steps. And then you want to pick a place that you could start doing the hi-hat roll. So basically you want to go ahead and push to push play and you want to watch this guy right here. And then like basically you're going to hear where you want to do the hi-hat roll. And as you watch this little guy, this white box right here, go, you pretty much will see where you want to start it off. Make sure you're on a step on and off, and then you just put the hi-hat roll wherever you want to see it. So I want a hi-hat roll right there. Now that sounds dope, but if you want to make it a little bit more in depth or sound a little bit more, um, you know, detailed, then you're going to click on this left or this right side. Click that, go down to note repeat. And like the lower you go, the lower the, the notes are gonna be, or the, lower, the more uh, simpler the roll is gonna be, the higher you go, the more detailed it's gonna be. So you can go like that. And you can kind of play around with that. You can also click on here and go to velocity you can play around with the velocity there as well. So this is the quickest way to basically make your hi-hat rolls. And let's say if you don't want it to uh, play so often, you can go to 64 steps and you can just delete, you know what I'm saying, what you don't want. So that's the quickest way to make hi-hat rolls using the step sequencer in Logic Pro 10. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. You can actually purchase courses that you can download. Um, these courses usually have hours and hours worth of content in them. It'll help you go to the next level as a producer as well. So make sure you go to the site, get those courses. We have kits there and we also have a giveaway. Um, go check that out. And thank you for watching. Peace.